Cameras? Ready? It's exciting. It's like, well, it's... If this is the wrong thing. You have to be colder. I can jump, I can turn, I can do tricks. Nobody give a fuck. I think that's your, that's your job, this is what I do. I, why are you mad? Because I lied to you or because I told you the truth? Man, that's a great question. Damn. Today I have my guest and my friend, Ozil Gounod. You know him as an internationally recognized ballet dancer and it's a big pleasure for me to have you here. It's a big pleasure. I want to ask you, if you would not do a dancing, what would be your passion otherwise? I guess it would be acting. Uh, yeah, acting. A long time ago I've been, you know, I realized that that what's moving me on a stage is to try to impersonate something that's not me, you know? I think it will be acting, definitely, definitely. So how is, how is, what about the actors? You have some, somebody on your mind that you really admire? I admire a lot people like this, so Washington, Robert De Niro, Daniel Dennis Lewis, yes. and, and, and Leo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and the list goes on because it's a, it's a long list yeah. of great, great ones. Yeah. Do you find that a classical dance education is too dogmatic sometimes and it's not necessarily going with the time? For example, compared to the sports? Yeah, I have to say that ballet, ballet you know, that, that's, what, that's what we start at a very early age, you know, because it's, it's you know, things that you have to, have to be like, like build up over time and, and, you know, your body has to, body has to change be able to do something that is totally unnatural and, mm, and because it's actually dogmatic, you know, it's not like like football, it is the only way, the like one way of running or two way of running. You know what I mean, you know, yeah, but what about the way they warm up, you know, how they are sometimes, I feel like they are sometimes reckless about warming up and they still get to the point that they can perform and, and, and be warm. I mean, for example, the football players. The football players. Yeah. And we, as in Bella, you know how we have this slow build up in very tr right order. Yeah. You know, I cannot say much because I haven't really. I mean, I'm, I'm very into sports, especially football, but I haven't, I haven't really had the chance to see like how they do the whole warming up thing, how they start doing it. But in our case, we had to start slow because it's a it's a building up for us, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. ballet, ballet, like a structure, it has to be built up, yeah. the bar, and then we go to center, and we do the jumps, you're gonna start by the jumps, and then go yeah. back to bar, so it's like, it, it has to the whole, like, schema. Yeah, I hear you. When you're dancing, are you calculative? Do you have to measure everything, or, or you go, you go, you let your emotions take over? Man, that's a good question. Damn. <laughs> it's 100. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that I I I have to thank a lot Igor Zelensky, my my director, for sometimes holding me back. You know, and I want to tell you why. I started the season when I joined the the Bayerische uh, Staatsballet in Munich. Yeah. My first performance was Giselle. So obviously it was a new house and I wanted to give everything to the house. And and, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. and he came to me and he said, you know, uh, you have it to- Was it before the show or after the first show? Oh, before, like during, before during, show. during, 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 during like- First break. I, I read wrong, during for also times. The times. He was there with me like, like, like always. I was saying, you know what? I think you, you have to be colder. You, know? mm -hmm. you are a duke. You mm. have to be cold. And then I was okay. Alright, show me. And then he was just playing around like instead of instead of telling Giselle, please, like I'm Cuban, you know, we are like warmer than like, Warm, some, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So like my way it yeah. was like it was like 
I just saw, can we, can we just sit, sit here? And, and he, his way was more like, let's just sit here. Then we jump back into Spartacus, yeah. which is like a total opposite thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a easy guy, he's just like gladiator. Like, a slave. A slave. Forever. And, and he has so much inside, he wants to explode and make revolution and all these things. Yes. Like and then I was like, yeah. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to explode this thing. Mm -hmm. What about diff difficult elements? When there's a tricky element, can you let your passion, like, you know, can you let the passion speak or you got to be really measured? Sometimes I have to, it's according to, to, to the ballet. Yeah. But going back to Spartacus, it's just, this is what's the moment because it's very, like, technically, it's very difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult. But there are some moments of where you can just, let yourself go because the music is telling you and the choreography is telling you this is the moment for you to show the audience right. that you, you, you already lose it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But there are moments you can just stare at the camera or at the audience. Stare at the camera. Stare at the camera. It's like stare at the camera, camera. and just says like the... it's about to happen. And then you turn your back. Your back and you just go to the the center station. Rituals, your rituals before you entering the stage. Yeah, <laughs> Cuban music is my ritual. <laughs> <laughs> you have a earphones on. I have yeah? my headphones on, and yeah. then we go like, okay, this is the moment to go. This moment to go. And I, I spend, for example, I always get to 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 the stage, and most of the time, I last, I list like like two hours or two hours. Before, before before the show, you're an early person. Like yeah, that. I like I like that because I like to feel the stage, even if I felt it before. But it's just not a matter of, of insecurity or anything. I would say it's more because I had that question before too. Like people say, because are you insecure about? I say no, no, no. It's just like it's a ritual thing that I do. It's that I go around the stage and what I like to do. It's is your to, thing. I, it's your thing. I I run. Yeah. I run on the stage. And the moment I run on the stage, I have already everything calculated in my head somehow. You know? Yeah. I have the measure of how, what, like where I should go, what I should do, what I shouldn't do, like, 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 like yeah. things like this. So it's just more like, like a, a preparation. Thing. So are you interested in sports? Yeah. Very. Yeah. Very. What is your sports? I go for football. I love UFC boxing. Is what getting me right now. I also love tennis. UFC boxing. Yeah, yeah. That's where we are. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's where we are. Oh yeah. Who is that? Who is that in uh, you know, who is that in the UFC? You follow Connor. Connor is the man. Yeah. Connor for sure. It's a shame. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, his, this man has been changing the game, you know, of, of the sport. Yeah. yeah. If I, don't you think Connor is too shameless? He's too reckless. Well, sometimes it's poor like this, you have to, you better be. You gotta be. So, you, like, so you like, you, the lions, you know, you better yeah. be. Rather you or him. Exactly. You yeah. better be. This is about being being the one. It's about being second. Second, nobody, nobody give. About nobody give a f and in the fuck moment is gonna be. A exactly. It's like nobody, yeah. nobody cares about who's seconds. Everybody cares about who's first. In your opinion, three most important qualities, attributes the person have to have to achieve a great result. Commitment, passion is also because without passion, why would you commit to something if you don't feel passion? So you know, it's like love. Commitment, passion, love. Yes, and I will add one more. You have to be loyal to yourself and loyal to you. People stay true to it. You loyal. And it might sound like you know, like a tacky phrase, but I, I believe, I believe in that. I do. It's really good. Have you done something rebellious or acted on your own when you were a kid that really disappointed your parents, that really got them like, oh, oof. <clears throat> yeah. There was this time in school where I I got together with one of my, my, my good friends and we just skipped class for two, three days. We went to the river 
and my father just went, she just like came to school to visit exactly those days. She was like, she was having like holidays or something. Yes, like they were from the same school of yours. Yeah, different. No, no, no. They were they were ballet dancers from my class. Ah, uh, also. Yeah, yeah. So she, you bad boy. Oh man, she just like came in and she says like she asked my teachers like, okay, how is Sosio doing? And, and they oh, said to her like, we haven't seen him in the last three days. But it's not only him. It's like. I'm gonna call call them out because they are one of my good friends. If they if they if they, if they see this interview, they're gonna be like, all right, he gave uh, us up. He, just, he gave us up. He did it. So it's like Giovanni Giovanni Rodriguez and Pablo Antonio Balseiro Simeon. These Three guys. These, these guys. So these people, they just came with me like all the way since, since we are like nine years old. We, they we, we the just, troublemakers. Yeah, they were they were the troublemakers. They were the troublemakers. What you think about system or so-called matrix, invisible prison? Did you ever feel it on yourself? You know, I I I, I felt that. No, it's a good question. I felt that before, and it was stopping me from 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 growing and for improving myself by framing Osio in, in a box, you know? It's like, okay, this is this is the kind of guy you are. This is like this is the, the matrix I was living in. It's like this is the guy the, the sort of guy you are professionally. In Bali World I'm telling you, like okay you are the guy who can jump, who can turn, I can do tricks, all these things. You know, it was it was in my head because what, it was what people were calling me in for every time they coming for gala or coming for like uh, any others. Deep, deep down, deep down, I always had that uh, that question of like, what if I try to do some, something? What if I get the opportunity? That's 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 the real thing. So what if I get the opportunity of doing something different and I could show myself? I could show another side of, of my, myself. Right? Yeah. Then I you I got a break room? Yes. So I got the opportunity, thanks God man, to play a Russian aristocrat. Me. Where was that? Onegin. In the name. A couple months ago. Onegin. You know? Yeah. And that was a game changer for me. We had no tricks, it's all acting and, and, and and yeah. I find it's a fine acting, like almost like a movie acting. It's a movie acting. Name, it's, right? It is a movie acting. I think from that time on, it was when I started thinking differently about about my career. You know, yeah. that I could that I could do like, like I could do differently. Especially because I was in an environment when the rest of the cast was as uh, as good in this role, and they had they was the prototype for this role, all these things. So they are very, the adversity for me was that I have to overcome and say, okay, uh, first of all, I'm black. Second of all, this role is like you have nothing to do with me. So I have to really like work double and put myself in the position where people would believe what I'm doing.